everyone. Today, we are going to learn about scale and proportion in art. Scale and proportion are another one of the principles of design because the terms scale and proportion are both concerned with size. Now let's start with looking at scale. Scale is the comparison of an object's size to its environment or another object in real life. Look at this example. The size of the fish gives a scale of how big it is compared to the fisherman. In this photo, the sailor's size portrays how massive the ship is. Large-scale artworks can be very impressive, attention-grabbing, and powerful. This large-scale public artwork changed the environment in which it is placed. That binoculars are actually the entryway to a building in Venice, California. Small-scale artworks require attention by the viewer and can be more intimate and subtle. The small-scale artworks are highly detailed, but because of their scale, they require careful observation by the viewer in order to fully appreciate them. This medallion was carved out of ivory and measures just over 3 and a half inches. Now let's talk about proportion. Proportion, on the other hand, is the relation between sizes of an object in order to emphasize the certain parts. Here, we look at the sculpture of Constantine the Great. It shows the proportions with exaggerated eyes. This focus on the emphasis eyes shows the cultural importance of spiritual. Proportions are often exaggerated by artists in order to add to the content or meaning of the artwork. Proportions can be a valuable tool to change the way something looks. Look at this example. The sky is dramatically larger than the water to emphasize the sunset. Another example emphasizes the man's head and the man's hand. Here, the artist uses proportion to exaggerate the size of the main building. To summarize, scale and proportion are both used to emphasize or exaggerate the subject of the photo, resulting in a stronger message. Scale refers to the size of an object in relationship to another object, while proportion refers to the relative size of parts of a whole. That's all for today. Thank you for watching today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.